Good evening and welcome to this evening prayer on Monday the 14th of December as we gather and reflect on the day that has been. Let us ask for God to be with us this evening. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Reveal among us the light of your presence that we may behold your power and glory. Blessed are you, sovereign God, creator of light and darkness. To you be glory and praise for ever. As evening falls, you renew your promise to reveal among us the light of your presence. May your word be a lantern to our feet and a light upon our path, that we may behold your coming amongst us. Strengthen us in our stumbling weakness and free our tongues to sing your praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God for ever. Creator of the stars of night, thy people's everlasting light. O Jesus, Saviour of our souls, regard thy servants when they call. Thou grieving at the bitter cry of all creation doomed to die, didst come to save a ruined race with healing gifts of heavenly grace. Thou camest, bridegroom of the bride, as drew the world to evening tide, proceeding from a virgin shrine, the Son of Man, yet Lord divine. At thy great name exalted now, all knees must bend, all hearts must bow, and things in heaven and earth shall own, that thou art Lord and King alone. To thee, O Holy One, we pray, our God in that tremendous day. Preserve us while we dwell below from every onslaught of the foe. O praise, eternal Son, to thee, whose advent sets thy people free, whom with the Father we adore, and Spirit bless forevermore that this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful. Let us pray of one heart and mind. As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise, now and forever. Amen. Our first psalm for this evening is Psalm 25. Remember, Lord, your compassion and love. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. O my God, in you I trust. Let me not be put to shame. Let not my enemies triumph over me. Let none who look to you be put to shame. But let the treacherous be shamed and frustrated. Make me to know your paths, O Lord, and teach me your paths. Lead me in your truth and teach me. For you are the God of my salvation. For you have I longed, uh, for have I hoped all the day long. Remember, Lord, your compassion and love, for they are from everlasting. Remember not the sins of my youth or my transgressions, but think on me in your goodness, O Lord, according to your steadfast love. Gracious and, gracious and upright is the Lord. Therefore shall he teach sinners in the way. He will guide the humble in doing right, and teach his way to, do, to the lowly. All the paths of the Lord are mercy and truth, to those who keep his covenant and his testimonies. For my name's sake, O Lord, be merciful to my sin, for it is great. Who are those who fear the Lord? Then will he teach in the way that they should choose. Their souls shall dwell at ease, and their offspring shall inherit the land. The hidden purpose of the Lord is for those who fear him, and he will show them his covenant. My eyes are ever looking to the Lord, for he has plucked my feet out of the net. Turn to me and be gracious to me, for I am alone and brought very low. The sorrows of my heart have increased, O bring me out of all my distress. Look upon my adversities and misery, and forgive all my sins. Look upon my enemies, for they are many, and they bear a violent hatred against me. O keep my soul and deliver me. Let me not be put to shame, for I have put my trust in you. Let integrity and uprightness preserve me, 
for my hope has been in you. Deliver Israel, O God, out of all his troubles. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Remember, Lord, your compassion and love. Our second psalm for this evening is Psalm 26. Lord, I love the place where your glory abides. Give judgment for me, O Lord, for I have walked with integrity. I have trusted in the Lord and have not faltered. Test me, O Lord, and try me. Examine my heart and my mind. For your love is before my eyes. I have walked in your truth. I have not joined the company of the false, nor consorted with the deceitful. I hate the gathering of evildoers, and I will not sit down with the wicked. I will wash my hands in innocence, O Lord, that I may go about your altar, to make her the voice of thanksgiving, and tell of all your wonderful deeds. Lord, I love the house of your habitation, and the place where your glory abides. Sweep me not away with sinners, nor my life with the bloodthirsty, whose hands are full of wicked schemes, and their right hand full of bribes. As for me, I will walk with integrity. Redeem me, O Lord, and be merciful to me. My foot stands firm. In the great congregation I will bless the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Lord, I love the place where your glory abides. Our Old Testament reads a continuation of the book of the prophet Isaiah, chapter 38, verses 1 to 8 and 21 to 22. In those days, Hezekiah became sick and was at the point of death. The prophet Isaiah, son of Amos, came to him and said to him, Thus says the Lord, Set your house in order, for you shall die, you shall not recover. Then Hezekiah turned his face to the wall and prayed to the Lord. Remember now, O Lord, I implore you, how I have walked before you in faithfulness with a full heart and have done what is good in your sight. And Hezekiah wept bitterly. Then the word of the Lord came to Isaiah. Go and say to Isaiah, Thus says the Lord, the God of your ancestor David, I have heard your prayer, I have seen your tears, I will add fifteen years to your life. I will deliver you and this city out of the hand of the king of Assyria and defend this city. <clears throat> this is the sign for you, uh, to you from the Lord, and the Lord will do this thing that he promised. See, I will make the shadow cast by the declining sun on the dial of Azar turn back ten steps. So the sun turned back on the dial at ten steps by which it had declined. Now Isaiah had said, Let them take a lump of figs and apply it to the boil so that he may recover. Hezekiah also, ha, also had said, What is the sign that I shall go to the house of the Lord? This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Surely I am coming soon. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. Behold, I am coming soon. Say to the Lord, and, uh, says the Lord, and bring my reward with me, to give to everyone according to their deeds. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. Blessed are those who, are caught, who do God's commandments, that they may have the right to the tree of life, and may enter into the city through the gates. I, Jesus, have sent my angel to you with this testimony for all the churches. I am the root and offspring of David. I am the bright morning star. Come, says the Spirit, come, uh, and, and the bride, come, let each hear a reply. Come forward, you who are thirsty. Let those who desire take the water of life as a gift. To the one who sits on the throne and to the Lamb, be blessing and honour and glory and might for ever and ever. Amen. Surely I am coming soon. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. Our New Testament is a continuation of the Gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter 16, verses 13 to the end of the chapter. Now when Jesus came into the district of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, Who do people say that the Son of Man is? And they said, Some say John the Baptist, but others Elijah, and still others Jeremiah or one of the prophets. He said to them, But who do you say that I am? Simon Peter answered, You are the Messiah, the Son of the living God. 
And Jesus answered them, Blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah. The flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my Father in heaven. And I tell you, you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of Hades will not prevail against it. I will give to you the king's keys of the kingdom of heaven, and whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Then he sternly ordered the disciples not to tell anyone that he was the Messiah. From that time on, Jesus began to show his disciples that he must go to Jerusalem and undergo great suffering at the hands of the elders and the chief priests and the scribes, and be killed and on the third day be raised. And Peter took him aside and began to rebuke him, saying, God forbid it, Lord, this must never happen to you. But he turned and said to Peter, Get behind me, Satan, you are a stumbling block to me. You are setting your mind not on divine things, but on human things. Then Jesus told his disciples, If any want to become my follower, let them deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. For those who want to save their lives will lose it, and those who lose their life for my sake will find it. For what will it profit them if they gain the whole world, but forfeit their life? Or what will they give in return for their life? For the Son of Man is to come with his angels in the glory of his Father, and then he will repay everyone for what they have done. Truly I tell you, there are some standing here who will not taste death before they see the Son of Man coming in his kingdom. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My soul is waiting for you, O Lord. In your word is my hope. My soul is waiting for you, O Lord. In your word is my hope. There is forgiveness with you, so that you shall be feared. In your word is my hope. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. My soul is waiting for you, O Lord. In your word is my hope. Those who keep and teach the commandments will be considered great in heaven. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He has looked with favour on his lovely servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm, and has scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel to remember his promise of mercy, the promise made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Those who keep and teach the commandments will be considered great in heaven. So let us pray. Heavenly Father, we give thanks for the day that has been. As we come to the end of the day, we ask that you be with us. Be with us this evening. Be with us as we rest. Be with us in the morning when we awake. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we pray for all being affected by the coronavirus. We pray for those places which will be entering into tier three in the next few days. We pray for all who are worried and anxious about what it will mean for their livelihoods, for their families, for themselves. We pray for all who are infected at this time. We pray for those, Lord, who we are worried about, for our families and our friends and those whom we miss. We pray, Lord, that you might show kindness and compassion on all who are seeking you this night. We pray for those who are in self-isolation, those who are, in, who are in quarantine, those who are shielding, for those who are, uh, who are in hospital, and for those who have died. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we ask for your peace this evening upon the world. We pray for all who are victims of domestic violence, all who are at risk of violence this night, for those who are unable to escape it, 
We pray for those who have had the courage to leave, to flee from the violence and oppression. We pray for all who are seeking refuge, for all who are in need of aid and calm. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the government and for Parliament as they try to tackle the coronavirus, as they look to broker a deal with the European Union on trade. We pray for all who are anxious and worried about what it will mean for their futures. We pray for all who are feeling upset or angry about the negotiations. We pray for all who are feeling disenfranchised. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Merciful Father, we pray for those who are sick in mind, body and spirit. We pray this evening for all who are known to you and for all who we are worried about. In particular, we pray for Davy, Megan, Ronnie, Susanna. We pray for all who are caring for them, all who are worried about their health and well-being. We pray, Lord, that you be with all who are sick this night. We pray for all who are awaiting diagnosis and awaiting treatment. We pray particularly for those who are in need of, of treatment and how, having it delayed. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Merciful Father, we pray for those who are reaching the end of their lives and those who have recently lost their lives. We pray too for those who are mourning the loss of a loved one and for those who are bearing the scars of loss. We pray particularly tonight for Subagi, for her family and her friends and all who miss and mourn her. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. O God, the judge of all who gave your servant John of the cross a warmth of nature, a strength of purpose and a mystical faith that sustained him even in the darkness, shed your light on all who love you and grant them union of body and soul in your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit. One God, now and forever. Amen. Awaiting his coming in glory as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May the Lord, when he comes, find us watching and waiting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Please do join me tomorrow at 9am and again at 5pm for morning and evening prayer. And until we see each other again, God bless, stay safe and have a very good evening.